Hello there. Today I'd like to tell you about chess match between I am Emery Tate and GM Leonid Udasin at US Masters at Chicago in 1997. Emery Andrew Tate Jr. was an American international master of chess. Emery carried a big chess personality and played a hyper-aggressive and entertaining style of chess. He was known for winning games in a spectacular style. Leonid Yudasin is a Soviet-born Israeli chess player and trainer. Yudasin was part of the USSR team that won the gold medal in the 1990 Chess Olympiad. He competed in the candidates tournament for the World Chess Championship twice, in 1991 and 1994. Yudasin boasted a 2600-plus rating at the time, so it's not like Tate was dealing with an out-of-shape opponent. Still, what Tate did was nothing short of amazing. Game begun with e4 c5, the Sicilian defense. Then knight to f3, d6, d4, Yudasin captured it with c-pawn, Tate took it back with knight, knight to f6, knight to c3, and pawn to a6, preventing white from placing his knights or bishop on b5, Sicilian knight or variation. Tate played bishop to c4, which is Bobby Fischer's favorite reply to the Nidorf Sicilian. Eudesen played pawn to e6, making the bishop to bite the granite. Tate retreated bishop to b3, anticipating b5 move, and Eudesen played knight to d7 with intention to put it on c5 later on, to attack bishop and pawn. Tate played queen to e2, and Eudesen put his knight to c5. Tate decided to play g4, to start a flank attack, and Yudasin played b5, starting his own flank attack. Tate pushed pawn further to g5, attacking the knight, and Yudasin retreated his knight to d7. Here, Tate decided to play bishop to d5, giving it away in the hope that he would get more favorable position, and according to Stockfish it was an inaccuracy. And Yudasin actually decided not to capture the bishop and played bishop to b7 instead, which was a mistake. Players exchanged their bishops, and Tate decided to start attack on queenside by playing a4. Eudesen decided to capture the pawn and give Tate an opportunity for a rook lift, which he did. Eudesen played knight back to c5, attacking the rook, and Tate retreated it to the third rank. Then queen to b6, and Tate decided to castle. Eudesen played bishop to e7, and Tate moved his king to h1 to free g1 square for rook and increase the safety of the king. Eudesen castled, and Tate played b4, attacking the knight, and Eudesen found the only good move, knight to a4. Notice that the knight isn't hanging because white's knight on d4 is undefended as well. And here Tate played a brilliant move. You can pause the video and try to find it. The move is knight to f5. Eudesen had to capture it, and Tate played knight to d5, attacking both queen and bishop. Only good move for Eudesen is queen to d8, and Tate captured pawn on e file. Eudesen played rook to e8, intending to capture pawn on g5 with discovery attack on queen, and Tate moved queen to h5. Here, Eudesen moved knight to b6, and that was a blunder. You can pause the video and try to find a great move for white. The move is rook to h3, threatening to checkmate. Eudesen played knight to f8 to protect the h-pawn, and Tate pushed his f-pawn. Eudesen captured knight on d5, which was an accuracy, and Tate captured the g-pawn. Eudesen captured it back with king, which was a mistake, because Tate in reply involved his bishop in attack with check. Eudesen moved his king back to g8, which is another mistake, because Stockfish says it's made in 12 moves now, try to calculate that. Pawn to g6, bishop to f6, pawn to f7 check, king to h8, and here Tate played rook to g1, planning rook to g8 checkmate, but with this move Tate lost forced checkmate sequence, because Eudesen played rook to e1, and Tate had to leave g-file and capture the rook, and then Eudesen captured bishop on b2. Tate played rook to e8, attacking queen, Eudesen moved knight to f6, giving away the queen, Tate captured the queen, Eudesen captured the rook, and Tate moved his queen to h6, planning to move his second rook to g-file and deliver the checkmate. Eudesen played knight to e4, covering the g3 square. Queen to h4, attacking the knight, 
and Udison decided to play knight to f6, which is a mistake, because it's made in 12 again. Rook to g3, knight to d7, queen to g5, and here Udison resigned. That's it for today, hope you enjoyed the video, and see you in the next one.